Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest grew up watching their fathers create the soul music that are the soundtracks to our lives. Ooh, they really are. And their daughters, uh, legendary, uh, legendary James Brown and Isaac Hayes, are now venturing out on their own careers, hosting a podcast of their own called The Soul Sisters. Please welcome Yama Brown and Heather Hayes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow, that, that's just a, a lot going on within the family. Yes. <laughs> so, how, how was it growing up in a household with such musical geniuses? Um, I think quite regular initially, because when you're younger, you don't really know what your parents mm -hmm. do. It was always music around, but you kind of didn't know that's why music was around. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you became like preteen, teenager, that's when you were like, oh. Okay, I get it, and it became a little crazy then at that point. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, for me, I never saw Dad. Hardest working man in show business. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, when is he coming home? <laughs> Who are you now? <laughs> but just like Heather said, I mean, pretty regular, and, you know, until you get older and then you realize the magnitude of who he who is. Who they are. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. what are some of the things that the world should know about your dads that we might not already know? Um, well, my dad loved to cook. He was a really, really, really good cook. Mm -hmm. He loved video games. Is that why he was the chef? Yeah. <laughs> First of on all, South Park. I didn't even know he was the chef on South yeah, Park. Oh my, what? <laughs> no. I was at Midtown Arts Festival, and he started playing the song, and all of a sudden, all these chef dolls, people had them on strings. What song are you talking about? The, the, the chocolate Salt balls? Yes. The, the chocolate <laughs> salty balls. The donuts. Yeah. The chocolate salty balls were donuts. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. But they had chef dolls <laughs> hanging up in the air, and I'm looking around like, what is happening? Mm -hmm. That's how I discovered it. But Yes, he loved cooking, he loved <laughs> video games, and he loved the TV show Charmed. Mm. What? Wow, Charmed? <laughs> yes, I loved it. We used to watch that together. All really? Time. Yes, and Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> okay. Oh, I remember that one. That's, that's, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. But, uh, I mean, I love music. I mean, I listen to both of your mm -hmm. fathers, and your father was huge, at, of course, in Memphis and, and, and um, doing a lot there. Having an Isaac Hayes restaurant there in yes. Memphis that I used to love going to. So uh, I'm just happy to have both of you yes. here. Yes, oh, thank you. How did your fathers work to kind of keep the industry away from you, to kind of shield you all from Ooh. all of the woes <laughs> of the industry? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, that, and what you will see sometimes in, you know, in the media about that. Yeah, them. that was just like, you're not going nowhere. <laughs> Baby <laughs> girls, go stay home. <laughs> I mean, really, if for us, I mean, we would go out to different events and mm -hmm. things with him, but for the most part, when we were younger, he wasn't having it. We were at home with mom. It wasn't until later, because Heather, our connection is because Heather used to dance for my dad, and that's how we what? met. Yeah, that's so funny. it wasn't until much later that, I mean, we traveled with him as a family, but, you know, we were small, but it wasn't did until much later. Did you really realize later. how famous your fathers were? No. Did you, did you guys You know, it? when I started realizing it, when people that I was, like, fangirling over were like, your dad, and I was like, he I, just yeah, dad, right? Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, I'd be like, oh. <laughs> like what? I, I, like it just—it doesn't register. It really doesn't, because this Honey. is the person that punishes you, spanks yes. you, yeah. you do your homework. You know, so, so in your yeah. mind, you were like, walk on by. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Walk on by. Like, right. Right. <laughs> like she, he would, like she said, they were never home. But when he came home, I'm like, oh my god! Now he's trying to regulate and make people do their homework. When is he going back out on the road? <laughs> like so, you're messing up everything. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. you're you're messing messing you got to see that mind. Right. So, well, did the music bug bite either of you? Me, yes. Yes, you sing? Yes, I'm a singer. Oh. I'm a singer and a dancer, so by trade, I started dancing, and then her father would make me sing. Like, he would push me out and sing in front of, like, 20,000 wow. people. Really? So, but I went to a performing arts school. I was born in Memphis, but I was raised here, so I went to a performing arts school, and mm -hmm. I started singing really young. So, I've sung for, you know, on people's albums, background, I've danced for a lot of people. Um, danced for her dad, of course. Danced for Michael Jackson, sang background for Beyonce, danced for her. Um, arrest development, I, just a lot of people. So he de definitely inspired me. I think it's just Absolutely. because the music was in the house. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I would make up plays and put on records and create shows and make him watch. So, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> yeah. So uh, let's talk a little bit about your podcast. Mm -hmm. So you guys have come together by mm -hmm. way of your dad, mm -hmm. and now you have this podcast. Look how great you guys are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so tell us a little bit about the podcast, and what are some of the things that you discuss on the podcast? Oh, yeah. Well, so we came together, really. I mean, Heather probably could tell the story better, because it was her brother yeah. that brought us together. Oh, Isaac, Isaac Hayes. Oh, yeah, yes. 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 Isaac, what's up? <laughs> Like so yeah. how do you come up with the idea and then you guys decide, okay, yeah, so, we're going to do it? Yeah. It's a lot of us. We call, they call us legacy. Some people call us, but it's a lot of us in the city. Yeah. So he came to me. Um, we have a, we had a station that 
basically, you know, my father's name was on, it was called Pure Soul Powered by Isaac Hayes, mm -hmm. so on Dash Radio. So once they wanted to start adding programs and shows to the stations, he came to me and he was like, well, who are some of your other friends? Because he knew, you know, of course I knew Yama. And that we could put together a show for women and you talk about, you know, social things and things like that. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, Yama. Um, and so that's basically how it got started. And then mm -hmm. he just was like, well, let's just, let's go. Why do you feel that the podcast is important to this generation? Mm. You know, I think it's so important because first of all, what we do is we take any, like any topic that's yeah. important in yeah. our communities and we always relate it back to our music. So we relate it back actually to the music we grew up on mm -hmm. and it gets that new generation interested in, yes. hey, what's wait a minute, what what's song that? is that? Yeah. And where did that come from? And then that in turn, you can kind of show how the music was so heavily involved in mm -hmm. what was going on at the time and how important you know the words yes. were and everything so for us it really is just about having people on that connect with the yeah. community connect yeah. with what's going on and and really just giving back in that way so really quickly aside from this podcast what else do you ladies have going on Ooh. Well, I have the James Brown Family Foundation. It's a foundation that we continued after Dad passed. Um, we continue on as charitable efforts, and we also do what's called JAMP, James Brown Academy of Music Pupils. So we have oh, a music cute. education school. We have students that come in, having never played an instrument, and leave playing three or four instruments. Wow. I'm also a doctor of pharmacy, so for 20-something right, years, yes, I've been uh, doing that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and have health initiatives related to that, but you know. And yeah. how about you? I'm a singer, so I have a band. It's called the Heather Hayes Experience, and I also do a tribute to my father. It's called Hot Buttered Soul. All right, now. Um, so we travel around the country and perform, and I do Soul Sisters and you know, Hot Buttered Soul. I like Super <laughs> duper <laughs> fun. <laughs> Young yeah. Brown, Miss Heather. <laughs> I like that. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for having us. everybody to keep up with what's going on with Soul Sisters and their podcast on Dash Radio.